Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and today we're going to make a beautiful little angel ring in time for the holidays. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making videos, and also be sure to check out my live stream from last week about making DIY holiday rings. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools, your ring cone, I have 20 gauge gold colored artistic copper wire. I have a 18 or 16 gauge wire for the band. I have a two inch head pin. I have a four millimeter pearl bead for the head, a teardrop bead for the skirt, and a little optional plastic stopper to hold your beads while you're working. So a couple days ago I did a live stream doing holiday rings and these are the rings that I made in the live stream. I'll link up the replay to the live stream below. We did a little wreath, a snowman, a Christmas tree, a little bell that jingles, and a candy cane. So I did three prototypes for the angel ring. This is the one I'm going to do today and uh, the ones I did first was I did a little loop at the side of the wings to attach the band on this one and the little halos on these two are actually little spacer beads so you could use the spacer beads instead of the wire. So to get started we're going to get our head pin and just put the little teardrop bead on the pin and the head bead we're going to stick on there and then just so we don't lose our beads while we work, I have a little stopper that I'm going to put on the end of the head pin. And then the next step is we want to form the wings. So we have our gold colored wire. And what I want to do to get it started is just in the middle, I'm just going to start like a little kind of loop like that just to get it started. And then we're going to take the head pin and loop this around between the teardrop and the head. So what we want to do is just loop it around the head pin, give it a little bit of a pinch, and really just pull it as tight as you can because we want it nice and snug in there. Okay, and if you need to, you can just go ahead and and kind of tighten it up a little bit and then what you want to do is just place it down here I guess if you wanted to you could push this stopper down a little further to hold it in place but I think I can just leave it like this and what we want to do is form the wings so we're just going to hold this and push the push it up a little bit on an angle and then this side the same thing on this side it's going to wiggle around a little bit but like I said you could push the stopper down a bit if you want so we're going to push that up and then with the larger round pliers we're going to hold this here and just form the wings okay so we're going to go like that and form the wing like that and then you want to form the bottom of the wing, okay? And at the bottom of the wing, you want this part to be large enough that you're going to put your ring band through there. So we're just going to put that through, like make a, a decent size loop like that, okay? And then bring that up and then just form it like that. So that's going to be your wing on one side. Okay, and then you can go ahead and hold it and just wind this around here okay, to finish it off. And you want to cut it so you can, it can sit flush in there. So you want to get your cutters and just give it a little bit of a clip and then you can just push it in place with your flat pliers. And then we want to do the same on the other side. So to make it as symmetrical as you can. So you could just compare the two sides to see if it's more or less symmetrical. Okay. And then get the little round pliers again. 
and just by eye kind of this just takes practice to get the symmetry and then the same idea is you want this loop underneath to be big enough to put the ring band in okay and then we're going to form it up like that okay so they're pretty well symmetrical and then the same thing we want to take this one make sure it's the same position and just bend that down get our sharp cutters the cutters have a little bit of a point so they can actually get into those nooks and crannies and then we're just going to press that and make sure the loop is closed there and then what you have to do is you're going to push it all together so we'll remove the stopper at the top that was just really so we wouldn't lose the head so if you want to hold those with hold the end of the head pin with the flat pliers push this down a little bit and then what you want to do is really hold this head uh, bead down and push that at a 45 degree angle okay so you have that pushed to the side at a 45 degree angle and then we want to take this and start forming the halo Okay, and this you can just kind of do by eye. If you need to push it out a little bit, you can kind of wiggle it around. And you have a couple of options here. You can, you can twist it around if you want, but for a nice cleaner look, it's probably better just to cut it flush. Okay, so we're just gonna cut it flush there there and then what you want to do is press that little sharp end down so it's like right in place so there's no little sharp end okay and what you want to do now is attach the ring band so what we're going to do for that is take our thicker wire could be a 18 or a 16 gauge wire wind it around the ring cone like that okay and then you want to kind of try it on whatever finger you want. And then imagine if this was on there. See, there's a little bit of a space between those two. So you want to make sure you give room for the angel. So we're just going to hold it with our round pliers and bend that up there. And same thing over here. We're going to hold it with the round pliers and bend it up. Okay, just sort of at a... 45 degree angle and then what you want to do is actually take the angel put it through that one little loop and put it through this one little loop okay so it's it's like on there and then now what you want to do is just hold it and bend that back like that and then clip it okay same thing on the other side Hold it so it's in that little loop. Okay, bend it back. Clip it. And then at that point, you want to push those little sharp ends in. So we'll just get our flat pliers and push it in like that. And this one too. Get the flat pliers and push that little end in. You could give it another little pinch it this on the side if you want and then you're going to just squeeze it around the ring form to make sure it's nicely formed and then you just put it on and there is your little angel ring so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you like it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more diy wire art and jewelry making videos hit the notification bell to be notified when i go live and when i post new videos and if you'd like to share photos of your wire art creations, be sure to join my Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, where we share photos of our work and get inspired by members of the group. And if you'd like to check out our Etsy shop, we make all kinds of custom wire art and jewelry on Etsy. And also, if you'd like to learn more about wire art and jewelry making, I have an online course where I teach all kinds of cool techniques including how to make your own templates, how to make flattened bookmarks, and how to make really cool spiral beads. 
be sure to have a great holiday and we'll see you the next time in the new year. Thanks for watching.